just keep on putting your business out there, just pass cards around, because when we first started doing our business, it, was, it took off quick though, but then it slowed down, so we started passing out cards, doing the pop-up shops. What's going on, Black Bookers, and welcome to another episode of Book Black TV. I'm your host, Jeremy Kraft, and today I'm here with Taj and Taylor Norwood of Overflow by Tees. How are y'all doing today? Doing good. good. That's good. Before we get started, we're going to play a quick game of Black Family Feud. So I'm going to ask y'all one question. Luckily, it's two of y'all, so y'all can team up and come up with the best answer. So we asked 100 Black Bookers. How long does Thanksgiving leftovers last? I'd say about three weeks. Three days. Is that your final answer? We got three weeks and we got three days. One of them is right. <laughs> One of them is right. What's your final answer? Three days. Three days is correct. Oh. <laughs> See, we were moving shows, y'all would have got it wrong. <laughs> but okay, y'all got it right. So, Let's get right into it. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your business. All right, my name is Taylor, of course. I am the owner and founder of Overflow by Tees. This is my brother, Taj. He is the co-owner and co-founder as well. Um, our business is really about homemade soaps, bath salts, body oils, beard oil, beard balms, all natural all natural products i right, would say right. with no chemicals involved um we do know like the way we got started one night woke up two o'clock in the morning i had to revamp my business and we're gonna make soap the next day i went and bought all my products to make soap that's awesome so like how did you get into like, like okay i know you said one day at two in the morning you wanted to make soap but like what was like that whole process like I'm big on my skin. I'm big on appearances. I like to smell good. I like to look good. And the first thing when you go around people, they look at your face. That's mm -hmm. how you greet people. That's how you start conversations up. So skin has always been a big factor. And then like most of the products that we were using, we have to overpay for those products mm -hmm. just to get the nutrients and the moisture back into our skins. So this business that we have now, we have combined that factor with no chemicals, having the correct moisture and balance for cleanliness and to smell good overall. Absolutely. And by the way, they smell good. I know y'all can't smell good, <laughs> yeah, but they smell good. Um, so the products that you that you have, like, do you have a background in like biology or something or you just start whipping it up in the kitchen? Like, well, <laughs> it's mostly like a background because when I was a young, younger, I had a real bad acne. Mm -hmm. I used to get like the different soaps and still wasn't working. So what we have now is called the Soap Bible. We have all our different recipes <laughs> in it, with a good for oily skin, dry skin. If you have acne bumps, we have that. We got everything in there. Combination skin as well too. A lot of people have yes. a combination, so you never know. Like you know, both sides of the family playing a part when you have mm -hmm. a person of their makeup. So you know, yeah, combination skin is a big, real big factor for us. Okay, cool. And of course, I always have to ask, do y'all use y'all own products? Yes, All everybody. Products. Yeah. Every day. We, we haven't bought another bar of soap since we started this. We get in the kitchen to try to find the correct ratio to combine and make sure our skins are flawless. My, my whole family now, since now we're starting to, you know, get our business out there, they use our products. Got you. See, that's a very important question. Y'all would say no. <laughs> Then I was like, oh, no. <laughs> it's a trustworthy product, uh, product. As you can see them, you know, they skin over here popping. They say black don't crack, and they, they exactly. over here looking good. <laughs> so, you know, make sure you get you some of their products. Check them out. Um, so, like, how is it being in business with, with, with siblings? I would say it's not a challenge. We do get on each other's nerves every now and then, bump heads, but at the end of the day, we still make it happen to get our stuff out there. She got this look like <laughs> <laughs> we're We're really family oriented. So, mm -hmm. you know, we probably might have our disagreements every now and then. But at the end of the day, if we have an idea. We try the idea to see if it comes to play. If it don't, okay, we got to go back to the drawing board and right. try to compromise. It's all about communication and compromising at the end of the day when you do have a business when it's come to family. Right. Yeah, just so that's what business period. 
Uh, you know, we have a business partner. Communication is key. So they give me all some free game right now. Make sure y'all taking notes and writing these gems down, like for real. Um, so is there a special uh, regimen or like routine that you that you all use or recommend? Or is it just like case by case basis? We just have a routine. Yeah, we do have a routine. Every now and then, I'll you know go a couple of days without using a product just to see the difference. Um, mm-hmm. Like right now, we're trying to get the gift sets together for like skin line. So we're trying to get you know the right combination of the turmeric soap, which is the biggest soap that I do sell between the turmeric and the activated charcoal because turmeric. If you know dark complexion, lighter complexion, we do get spots in our face from picking bumps. So with the turmeric, it actually helps correct high pigmentation. It does help with dark spots in the skin. So I recommend people use it at night because that way while you're sleeping, it can actually get deep into your pores. As far as with the activated charcoal soap, that soap is actually good for everyday cleansing, acne, and blackheads to keep the turmeric in line to bring the skin back to its natural state and overall glow. And then on top of that, we're actually getting ready to come out with a face serum to put the moisture back in after you have used all of the two soaps with the product to make sure that your your skin is back to the moisturizing and glowing again. That's awesome. You got the whole process. <laughs> you, you even answered one of the other questions that I was getting ready to go into. I like how, you know, you're very educated on that. So as you can hear, these are some very trustworthy people. They breaking it down for you. They give you the science behind it because look i didn't know half the stuff you just said right there that's some good information so i'm definitely gonna go in and uh check that out um how has it been with COVID going on has that like affected your business in any way not no. at all what we think about it is is that we have to gear in on what people need everyday use so mm-hmm. is everyday use that you need to keep your bodies clean putting the moisture back in with the body oils that I'm starting to come out with. Body oil, I I don't, I mean, a lot of people recommend, you know, lotions and certain body butters. A lot of people don't realize oil lasts longer and it doesn't require a lot. With my Mm -hmm. body oil, you put two to three drops in your hand, you covering both of your arms. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, you go to the rest of your body. By the time you get done using the product, 10 Mm -hmm. drops is all you need and go ahead and go about your day. Got you. See, I'm more of a body butter person. Mm -hmm. But you recommend the oils over the body? I, I recommend the oils because the body butter, the deal is most body butters, it's harder for you to rub in. It takes a little bit longer to rub in. So if you're in a rush, body oil, you it go ahead, rub, rub it in, in you keep it going. And it lasts too. Yes, it's not my body oils. I make sure that they're not oily. So that way it rubs off on your clothes. You don't need those oil stains like you would be eating chicken and yeah, you got yeah, greasy yeah, hands, yeah, of course. Yeah, so yeah. it's not going to do any of that. I, I can't say that, that, that yeah, what I've been doing, I love it. Gotcha. <laughs> so how long have y'all actually been doing this? <laughs> Since COVID started. So oh, yeah, COVID started. Right at the peak of COVID. Right at the peak of COVID. So okay. maybe like COVID started about March and then I've been working from home since. So right around March up until now, we talking about six, seven months going in. So we've been, we've been geared in. We starting to get a lot of more of the pop-up shows. We got three coming up this week. Y'all come mm-hmm. out and support as well. Where are they located? Um, the one is right here. It's called True Haven pop-up okay. shop right across the street from Garden City on Mon- uh, West Montgomery. That's the one pop-up shop. Um, there is another one. We have a pop-up shop after that event that starts at five o'clock. That is a fashion show with vendors um that one and then we have one on sunday which is going to be at club taylor's off of south coast oak okay make sure y'all got that information locked in and y'all come out and support overflow by tees um what advice would you give somebody i know you guys say y'all just started with covid i know it's kind of been like a roller coaster a lot of different businesses have been struggling some have had success some haven't what would uh some of your advice be to those who may want to start a business or who are, who's already in business, but it's, it may not be going as they have planned it to go. I will say, just keep on putting your business out there. Just pass cards around. Cause when we first started doing our business, it was it took off quick though, but then it slowed down. So we started passing our cards, doing the pop-up shops. More people started DMing us on Instagram and say, hey, can you do this pop-up shop for us? Can you do this? And all of a sudden, I'm like, I think you got two, you got two, 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 two. I said, you got to counsel some of them, but I want to say people just keep on grinding, just keep going, just social work with people because mm-hmm. you never know who be with what. So, right. So you might as well just keep going, just keep going. 
And just to piggyback off of that, if you have a business, you are your brand. You are your own business. Wherever you want to be in life, and as long as you set goals and you achieve them, you set more to push yourself. It it start off kind of rough, but once you get everything down packed and you get a routine and habit, then you know that you you got it and you can have a successful business. Right. And you were saying that, you know, it's kind of tough that, you know, you started getting so much business and people, you know, pretty much saying, hey, I need you here, I need you there. How do you guys manage your time? Well, I have this big old chart in my room. I say, hey, <laughs> I say, on this day we open, this day we can't. And so sometimes it's kind of hard to turn out other other people to do vendors because there is a different, another opportunity to get our business out there. But right. sometimes we might have to turn it down and be overbooked because sometimes this past week we were booked now we have about four maybe five <laughs> four yeah, or five we're booked right yeah. now this whole week and then too when people trying to get orders in through us during the week i just tell them hey y'all y'all can just come up to pop-up shops mm -hmm. to get your orders from there so people that have already put orders i do go ahead and put their orders together and once they come out to the shop they were already ready cool. so it's all about time management and setting those goals to make sure you know you don't tire yourself out but the thing i can say since we have been doing these pop-up shops i sleep better at night because you know yeah, yeah. It's, a lot of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of opportunity now that's definitely a good thing of uh, just the fact that y'all came on here and been able to give us so much valuable information i just want to say thank y'all and i appreciate it because it's a lot of times we come across businesses who you know may not know how to do that time management may not know how to communicate and get themselves out there so we appreciate y'all coming Thank on you. giving Thank all this free game i hope y'all at home y'all taking notes um what would you say has been like the biggest uh gift in covid throughout out of, out of, out of all this because i like to always leave on something positive so like what has been the positive of 2020 i know some people say oh it's 2020 let's hurry and get to 2021 but 2020 has been a blessing for some. So what positive uh, would you take from 2020? I'll say patience, really. Patience. That's yeah. the biggest part of it, because without patience, you might rush into something, you might mess up. So Absolutely. sometimes it's good, sometimes it's always good to be slow to stuff, and sometimes not too fast to get into it. Mm -hmm. So I'll say 2020, patience, really. Yeah. Okay. Communication as well. Because in order for you to have a successful business and to get to where you're going, communication is always going to be the key because you're talking to people day in, day out. If you don't have that communication, stuff can come into a roadblock later on down the line. Something can happen later on down the line. It probably might seem good now, but if the communication is not there, then, of course, it's not going to be successful. Absolutely. And y'all communication has been on. <laughs> but we even turn the cameras on. Like, they've been in sync this whole time, so... I mean, it's good to see two siblings doing great things. Um, where can we see you guys in the future? Like, what do you see yourselves in the next five years? I told her, I know she's been saying she wants a uh, storefront, so that's that's my goal. That's on my big goal chart okay. is a storefront. So have more, so you see more stuff coming out, new products coming out. So storefront is my goal. Cool. Along with the storefront, I do. I know a lot of food trucks are big now. I at least mm -hmm. want to have like a trailer where we can set up. If you can't come to the shop, we're mobile still because right now we're still doing deliveries and being mobile. Mobility is the key. Everybody Absolutely. drives now. So if I'm not at the shop, now I'm not have to get people to work for me. So five years down the road, I, can, I need to have people that I can trust, loyal people that I can have on my team and build my build my storefront goal is to at least not have a storefront in houston i want to mark all of the state of texas with my product that's dope that's <laughs> dope well we appreciate you guys for coming home uh but before we let you go uh tell the people where they can find you at as far as social media websites all that good stuff how can we get in contact with you and shop with you so on? my website i'm actually pushing it back a little bit it was supposed to come out for uh black friday but due to some family issues i'm gonna push it back a little bit that way i have everything that i need to get done to make sure the uh, website is launched um instagram overflow by tees which is mine's then overflow by tees too which is the men line so yeah and then also on Facebook, it's my first and last name, Taylor Norwood. And then the business page is Overflow by Taylor. Cool. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, also, make sure that y'all, men, you know, a lot of times we think that, you know, we ain't got to.
do a facial routine and none of that stuff. Make sure that we check out the men line as well. Um, I, as, you, as you heard earlier, they have beard oils. So just check out all their different products, women as well. Make sure you check out all their different products. Shop at Overflows by T. Follow them on all social media platforms. And it has been awesome, amazing. Thanks for having you guys. Anything else? Thank you for having us. Well, thank you, Black Bookers. Take care.